2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead. They're where they want to be. But what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody else around them. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. What a bad line, this one. This shot from about 190 yards out. Going with the five iron here. This one might need to get down a little. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? Mm -mm. Straight out of the top drawer. Judging it beautifully. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Currently in first position. We find ourselves on a par three here. Looks to be going with the five iron. This one looks like it's going right. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. This is what they have left for birdie here. Yeah, that's never nice. Putting it off the surface, that hurts. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Putting for bogey. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Here we are at the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side, you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Nicely done. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 150 yards. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. What's in front of them, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold.
Rolling end to end is looking nice. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. <laughs> what can I say? That was simply sensational from the bunker. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. We have a par five at this one. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Second shot here on the fourth. And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, what about this start? And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Playing this shot from 120 yards. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Time to turn our attention to Will Zalatoris. Wow, what a save. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. This punt's about four feet from the hole. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Our current leader is up by three shots. Here we have a short par five, a chance to take advantage. In the lead and could extend it with a birdie or an eagle on this short hole. Not bad. Second shot here on the sixth. This one might roll into the rough. Always a tough shot to get out of. They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Well, it's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt.
Oh, just missed. That'll sting a bit. Big putt for par coming up. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Leading by a couple after that hole. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. That should set up another chance. Oh, a 14 footer. It's good to make a few of these per round. He looked to have pulled that one. Parpat coming up here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camber's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Playing from around 150 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine this one might need to sit. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Is tracking. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Now at minus nine for the tournament. Setting up now on a par four. Good shot there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. And choosing the eight iron here. That's nicely done. And Henny, what are they looking at here? This one's 13 feet from the cup. This for back to back birdies. They'll be disappointed with that one. That was a pushed putt. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Nice little par putt here. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. 
And as we step onto the 10th tee, Rich, always good to look back at the nine holes just played. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Well, that's a handy shot. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Currently leading by two. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. Seven feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Yeah, this is looking nice. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Tee shot is looking good here. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Penny, that ball seems to be sitting down. Is it bad? This reminds me of my breakfast. Nice fried egg. Well, that's wonderfully played out of the sand. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got, oh, I'd say roughly 120 here. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Here's a chance to get to 12 under. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? 
Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Playing from around 110 yards out. Going with the 9 iron, I think. This one is all over it. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, yeah! What a shot that was! Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. Now four shots up after that hole. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. That was a bit of a miscue. Blame the caddy. This would be a great up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Beautiful shot. What an outstanding bunker shot. What a play. Great shot. Nicely done. Our leader is up by four shots now. It's time to begin this par four hole. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Going with the seven. That might be one club too many. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Distance control not easy when you're coming out of the rough. How close was that to going down? Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That was pummeled into submission.
Rich, good chance to get this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Well, how good's that for the Eagle? Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, how about that one? Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. That's a good-looking shot there. Never seen a school car that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. And it's time to recap that play. What an amazing putt from way out. And now that finds him in first place. It's time to tee off on the 18th hole. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. Oh, he's trying to silence the young buck, Will Zalatoris, with that one. Really putting his cards out on the table. Brilliant stuff. Nice stroke. The putt drops, and this player is finished for the day. Yeah, that's another really impressive performance, building upon the advantage, and it looks like taking a big lead going into the final two days. What an amazing performance. Everything that this player has done has been absolutely spot on. Flawless, if you like. Massive lead through two rounds, but lots of golf yet to be played. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.